All right. Here is another relation. Now I can call it a relation. You tell me whether or not it's a function. No. 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 Like in, emphatically, no. This is not a function. <laughs> not even close. <coughs> Don't look at me like I'm weird. You know, there has to be at least one video a day where I'm weird. Have you ever seen The Incredibles? <laughs> you sound yeah. like that little mean short show. You, <laughs> you mean Edna Mode yeah. is her name? <laughs> yes, I I've seen that. He's obviously seen it. Yeah. That's what you sound like. That's okay, darling. Mm -hmm. The director, I think the director, Brad Bird, does the, her voice. Or his voice. It's kind of questionable. Ah, you're right. How can I see the domain? I can't see what it's doing, but I, it's getting, you said it's getting bigger though, right? So if this guy's getting bigger, he keeps going oscillating. He's oscillating back and forth. He's going to keep getting bigger and bigger as you go up. So, so then what are those x values included? Right. What we have to do for these pictures. What if one point it comes back to looking like it does around zero zero? You're right. What what if it does come back and it starts looking like what we have here? You don't know that for certain. So when but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But this is what you what we're going to go off of here. We make the assumption and I know well you know what assuming does, Mr. Cr yeah, I know. No, but this is like a Look at the pattern. Look at the pattern that's being created here. You see that it's getting wider and wider as I'm going up. So it's going to be safe for us to assume that it's going to keep on that same pattern. And even if you're not sure about that, if I were to plug in, say, what happens when y is 100? Well, if y is 100, 100 times the sine of 300, what does that equal? Well, I can tell you something right now. Sine, and when you go on to take trig, you'll see that sine bounces back and forth between 1 and negative 1. That's the output value for that. So if I multiply this times 100 or any other number, the max it's going to be is positive 100. The minimum it could be is negative 100. So even though this piece right here bounces back and forth between 1 and negative 1, you keep multiplying it times a larger and larger number. So what it keeps bouncing back and forth between keeps getting larger and larger. Does that make sense, or do you want me to throw my shoulder out again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you see this is going to include everything here. What about your range? I think the range is, uh, that's easy, right? You can make the same assumption. Right, it just keeps on going and going. I don't see anything where it's, it's, stop. it's, it's, it's stopping. So my range should be, should be everything. So I'm pretty safe saying that it ranges from negative infinity to infinity. Okay.